On November 22, 2017, the BrahMos air-launched cruise missile was successfully test-fired for the first time from Sukhoi 30 MKI against a sea-based target in Bay of Bengal. This is a news which we already know and this made the Indian Air Force the first in the world to have successfully tested such a type of air-launched trisonic class missile on a sea-based target. After the Indian Air Force successfully tested the BrahMos missile from a Sukhoi Su-30 MKI against a sea-based target, it declared on 17 December 2019 that the integration of BrahMos A variant missile on the Sukhoi Su-30 MKI is complete. As the tests were successful, it was decided that 40 Indian Air Force Su-30 MKI fighter jets will undergo modifications to be equipped to carry these missiles. And according to the sources, BrahMos A missile when fired from Sukhoi Su-30 MKI fighter jet can reach targets thousands of kilometers away. So this is going to be a strong point for the Indian Air Force. Coming to the latest update which we got on 20 January 2020, the Indian Air Force commissioned its first squadron of Su-30 MKI fighter jets equipped with PJ-10 BrahMos A missiles. Now if you see all the above information it clearly states that importance of this particular missile being given by the different source of Indian Air Force. Now you all might be wondering why suddenly I'm doing a recap of BrahMos missile. Yes, this is due to that BrahMos air launched cruise missile has received the first ever fleet release clearance issued by the certifying agency. According to military sources, the fleet release clearance was granted to BrahMos missile on June 10, 2020 during a high profile meeting of various stakeholders held through a video conferencing. The meeting was attended by members from the DRDO, the BrahMos Aerospace, the Aircraft and System Testing Establishment, the Software Development Institute, the Indian Air Force headquarters and the Center for Military Airworthiness and Certification. So where are these Su-30 MKI that are equipped with BrahMos missiles stationed? The number 222 squadron which is also known as the Tiger Sharks is a close air support unit based out of Thanjavur in Tamil Nadu and this is the first Sukhoi Su-30 MKI squadron based in southern India. And not only this it is also the first squadron equipped with the air launched BrahMos cruise missiles. So since now we are talking about the fleet release clearance what is that FRC all about The FRC could be compared to the initial operation clearance which was granted to Tejas and there will be another certification likely in future that will clear the missile for some advanced roles as well Under the fleet release clearance limited number of Sukhois have been chosen to carry the BrahMos ALCM for immediate missions and in future additional sukhois will be added as per the fleet release clearance officials mentioned that the frc is an important milestone for an indigenous missile which will now set the tone for other weapons as well gradually more desi missiles are expected to given the frc including the astra beyond visual range missile the rudram 1 rudram 2 rudram 3 and also the new generation anti radiation missiles So that was all about the latest update on BrahMos air launched cruise missile getting the fleet release clearance. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe my channel and hit the bell button next to it and also feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. Thank you.